I noticed that one of them, after I left and I had gotten home, one of them I couldn't see out of them very well. So I had these and then I had some some coach frames that I wanted to refill because I had them for some years and I love those frames. So I was like, yeah, you know, refill these with this prescription. Tried those on and I couldn't see clearly out of them. It wasn't significant, but it was enough to make me uncomfortable. So I had called the lady. I said, hey, you know, you guys fill my prescription. So, you know, I got into this mode where I was kind of starting to blame myself and it's like Rhonda you tripping you know girl you always be trying to make something big out of something that ain't I was really starting to come down on myself I could have sworn because what made me do that is because she went and read the glasses and she said they were the same prescription and she placed my glasses both of them down on the table as if she was validated as if she was absolutely right so that it was 0.5 slightly different in the left eye Y'all, I about to right, and when I tried to point it out to them, they dismissed it. So here's my point. What is your point, Loranda? My point is that people will try and make it seem like you are crazy. They will dismiss your feelings. They will dismiss your 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 thoughts. They will they may even dismiss your dreams. Like you crazy, you tripping. That's not what happened. That's not what's going to happen. But if if there is a small inkling of something that's telling you that something isn't right, go with your gut. Don't ever I don't care how many people dismiss what you feel. If you know it's real, if you miss your feelings, they would dismiss. And I know this is crazy because this is about glasses. But at, but for me, this was personal because there are many times when I be feeling something. And I, I, I ain't going to even lie. I'm an overthinker. You know? I can easily be swayed, you know, if I don't listen to my spirit. If I don't listen to my mind. So I'm the kind of person where if I feel something, I hang on to it. And I hang on to it tight. And other people may look at me like she tripping. But I'm really not though. I, the whole time. Like that post I put up. Whole time I be right. And I, this is the second time I've had this confirmation put in my face about how around the whole time you be right whole time you always be right this was confirmation that you have to be true to yourself you believe in something you stand on it don't waver on what you believe you hear me i don't care about how many folks deny you i don't care who doubts you if you feel something in your heart and in your spirit you stand on that stand on that and i'm everything you felt is gonna come into fruition absolutely all right, so that's it. I didn't mean to go all hard, but that was my experience. And I just had to get that out there because I know somebody may be struggling with, but I bet they're going to get it right this time, though.